Well, it's about time they got their own day. Oh, hi! I didn't see you come in. Welcome to the reading nook. Would you like to hear a story? Oh, I thought you would. Well, today we're returning to the world of Curious George. Now we get to read about his next adventure. Curious George takes a job. This is George. He lives in a zoo. He's so lucky. And of course, the zoo peaver smokes. In the Curious George book, smoking is a major theme. And while he's smoking up, Curious George steals the key and escapes. Oh no! Everyone, and I mean everyone, is looking for George. Where could he be? Is that him in the elephant cage? No, it's just an elephant dropping. Out of the zoo, onto a bus, and into the big, big city. Curious George looks for a job. Oh no, no, says the plump chef. George, do you have your immigration papers? No, that's okay, I got the job for you. Clean those dishes, George. I'm sure your monkey paws are gonna make those dishes nice and hygienic. What's he gonna do now? Clean windows. Dreams do come true. He gets chased around by the doorman and these guys in caps and another guy smoking because everyone smokes in Curious George books. He runs out the window and boom, falls on the ground. And suddenly his leg becomes a cursive squiggle. Curious George is taken to the hospital. There he's looked after with an enormous cast by a mean red-handed doctor. Meanwhile in the hospital, Curious George has escaped his cast and his bed. And what does he find? George was very curious about the ether bottle. It smelled funny. Suddenly, his head began to turn. Then he felt as if he were flying. It was pretty. And the wings and stars danced before his eyes. And then everything went dark. I didn't even have to make that up. George was found dead next to the bottle of ether. The people tried to drown the monkey corpse, but accidentally revived him. He's alive, screamed the man with the yellow hat. Goodbye, everything's fine now you're addicted to ether. Now the fantasy continues, and George drives out to Hollywood for some reason. What's happening? Curious George is becoming a movie star. That way he can afford more ether and more ether, and more ether. And everyone lines up to see his new movie, including many people smoking. And as the lights went down in the movie theater, the man in the yellow hat whispered to George, you're bigger than Tom Cruise. I mean, physically larger than Tom Cruise. Well, join us next time when we continue the adventures of Curious George, and Curious George wakes up to realize a whole movie star fantasy was just an ether-induced hallucination, and he's really just a beast behind bars at an underfinanced zoo. <laughs> Thanks for being here! Ether.